Uh, welcome back to another video. I realize I probably shouldn't um, hold the sock mic so close to my face, but I don't know. There's not any really other way for me to hold it. But anyhow, um, so as you first might notice, my mustache is gone. It's November 1st, so it's the start of Movember, uh, which is, you know, men's uh, health awareness for testicular and prostate cancer. And every year, uh, I shave my mustache. Um, it's supposed to be like no shave November, but if you have a mustache, you know, you got to kind of start from, you know, start over. So I'm going to do no shave November, and I'll let my whole gross beard grow out for a month. And it'll be all itchy and gross, but it's all right. And then at the end of the month, I just shave off the beard and, you know, stick with that. Um, but I just kind of wanted today, this video, I guess I will title it Sleeping or sleep. I don't know. Uh, it's just talking about the importance of getting quality sleep because I feel like over the past few weeks I have not been. Um, I've been tracking my sleep with my watch and apparently Garmin's supposed to have pretty good tracking and I have not been uh, getting the best sleep apparently. I feel pretty good when I wake up but then as the day goes on I feel like my energy gets kind of sapped quicker than it normally would. Um, so I'm trying to address that. I don't really know about what I'm going to do, um, you know, just, you know, they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, so I got to change something, I'm not too sure what, uh, I'm trying to find a good time for me to go to sleep and wake up, I know if you do that at the same time every day, it'll, uh, you know, improve your sleep quality, but who knows, uh, and also the role that sleep can play in you know, just everyday life. It's so important um, if you're, you know, into health and fitness or even if you're not and you want to just, you know, be the most productive and, you know, best version of yourself you can be. It really all starts with a good night's sleep. So that's one thing I've kind of realized is really important over the past few, um, well, the past year and then the past, especially the past few months and weeks, especially when I feel like my sleep quality has been not the best. So, definitely going to be researching some things to do to fix that. Uh, just a couple other things. I guess that's kind of the main topic. Um, then we'll kind of just segue into some other stuff. Uh, I've been really busy with school the past week or so. Um, haven't been uploading as many videos as I'd like to have been uploading. Um, it, you know, even with the simplistic nature of these videos, it still takes time to, you know, upload it to the computer and edit it very minimally and everything. So, um, I never like set a schedule for myself to where I'd be like, Oh, I'll need to upload a video like every day or every other day. But I don't know. I would have liked to upload at least a, a, another video before this, but it's okay. We're rolling along. Uh, I'm wearing my gym attire. I'm about to go to the gym. I'm going to go do a pretty short, but very intense workout today. I'm going to do something called the Norwegian four by four. Um, Basically, it's four minutes on of like the hardest you can go, you know, without, you know, completely gassing yourself out, like very hard and, you know, as you can sustain for four minutes and then followed by one minute of, you know, basically nothing like very, 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 very minimal work. Uh, and then you repeat that four times. Well, you do it a total of four times. So the four by four method, um, it's supposed to be really good for your heart and endurance and it's really good. Um, uh, anaerobic training, which I feel like I've been lacking on lately. Um, and again, sleep will help with, uh, your training and recovery. I feel like uh, some of the things that I've been dealing with as of lately are injuries, nothing too crazy, but I've hurt my calf like many weeks ago, um, months ago now uh, on a run and it's okay. Like it doesn't hurt during the day or anything like it kind of used to, it's definitely gotten a lot better. Um, but when I start running, it definitely kind of starts to buck up sometimes. And that's kind of cringe. And also, uh, recently, more recently, my hip, my right hip in the, I don't think it's the actual hip joint itself, like where the femoral head meets the acetabulum, which is like the socket part of the hip joint. I think it's like some of the muscles surrounding it and maybe some of the tendons in there are just a little inflamed. Um, so I've decided to take a bit a uh, week off of running or so ish. 
But we're going to get back to it next week. Not this weekend, but next weekend I have a 5K, and I'm going to try to get that 26-minute time. Um, but other than that, it's kind of the same old, same old. Um, this video, I honestly sleep. Eh, it, it's important, and I, I mean, it's, it's, it's good to talk about, but it's not like I wasn't like thinking all week, oh, I need to make a video about sleep. Uh, sorry. I've been very dramatic. I've been reading a lot of Warhammer uh, lore recently, like the books, the Horus Heresy books. That's uh, that's some good stuff. So check that out if you're into nerd stuff like that. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Kind of short and sweet. I, I kind of realized that making shorter vi videos is easier and a little better um, for engagement. I think the um, Blue Angels are flying right now, so... Anyhow, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning in to this weirdly structured, weirdly sporadic video. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Love you. God bless you. And we'll uh, see you in the next one.